down to a depth of 300 feet where there's a void is where the tin's been taken out. So you've just got to think about it for a minute. From that point, as far as here, for certain, down to a depth of 100 metres, there's a gap that's that wide where the tin's been removed. Um, because we haven't got any records of the old workings, we don't know how far the load has travelled beyond this point. Okay. It could be gone 10 feet, it could be gone 2 miles, we don't know. But we do know that when they were mining it out uh, in those days, they would have gone quite close to the surface. So consequently, um, if you uh, want to... Uh, uh, buy a house and build a garage or bungalow or whatever, the uh, mortgage company usually insists that you have a mining survey done. <coughs> so they charge you, I think, I think it's about £700 for one of these surveys, and you get a certificate back from the experts. They always put a note on the bottom to cover their ass, which says something like, it appears as though you're safe to start digging. <laughs> That's the day after your check's cleared. So, so um, as I say, I'll just run through it again. You've got to use your imagination a bit. Avoid down that width, down to 300 feet below us, is where the tin's been taken out. Uh, and in the days of Giever, when Giever were taking it out, they worked on the load itself from the bottom up rather than the top down. So they'd have a series of holes drilled up into the roof, um, and then that would be... Uh, a cube, four foot square, eight foot deep, then maybe ten or a dozen holes would then be filled with powder, and when it blasted, then it dropped down on the floor, rather than you dig it down from the top. Because okay. if you'd done it from the top, you drill the holes, blasted it, it would stay where it was. So mm -hmm. if you work at it from underneath, then it makes it easier. We, we aren't the staffs, so we look. <laughs> this is gravity's help. Gravity help, yeah. <laughs> Now that's the basic principle really of, uh, of uh, mining the tin out, we call it stoping. So this area you can see here, we call the stope, where the, where the mint tin has actually been taken out. Okay folks, do we know why the tin's vertical rather than horizontal? Sorry? Do we know why tin occurs vertically? Well I know coal is horizontal because that's basically uh, a, yeah. a, a, a forest. Yeah. Um, usually, I think it's something to do with the two plates of the earth colliding many years ago that, that uh, has made it that way. Okay. I don't really know the full answer to that. Fair enough. I can make something up if you like. No, it's okay. It's <laughs> for a coal mining area. Okay, right? yeah, <laughs> I know okay. coal, but no. <laughs> okay, the good news is as we turn the corner, there's more headroom. Brilliant. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. 